Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about actuating a Casa Smart Plug using a Lutron Pico wireless remote and Home Assistant software. So if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase some of these, I'll put a link to them in the description. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. I also have a Home Assistant playlist where I have other videos related to Home Assistant, and I'll put a link to that in the description. So I previously did a video with a Lutron lamp dimmer, and that's a great setup, but it's overkill for what I want to do with this. So I have a shop light, and it has a pull chain to turn it on, and I'd rather have a wall switch. I don't need the dimming capabilities of the Lutron setup. And the Lutron setup is nice because it can be standalone. It can work if the internet goes out. In the area where this is, if this quits working, I can always unplug this and just plug the lamp right into the outlet and use the chain again. So I'm using this Casa smart plug, and this is the model EP10. You can use other smart plugs that are compatible with Home Assistant. Now to do the Lutron system, you do need the Lutron hub. So this solution is best for people that are already in the Lutron system. But the techniques I use in this video could potentially be used with other smart products. So I want to get both of these set up in their respective apps. So I'm not going to cover every aspect of that, but I will plug this in. I do have a light bulb here to test with, so I'll plug that in. And I'm going to go through the CASA app with the setup procedure. It's pretty straightforward, and I have covered that in the other videos in my playlist, if you do want to see it. So I'm going to name this outlet Shop Light 1. I'm only setting up one light in this video, but I'll later I'll add a second light to this. And as is common, after I set it up, it has a firmware upgrade. I'll let that run also. So while that's happening, I'll get this opened. So these Lutron switches have, I think it's a 2032 coin cell in it, the last years. And this is the same shape as a Decora style switch. So you can get an adapter for this, that this pops into, and you can actually mount this in an electrical box. You can also mount it flush to the wall with a faceplate on it. It will look like a wired in outlet, but it's just wireless. So these switches, when paired with a Lutron, Caseta switch are great for adding a second switch to something like a light without doing any wiring. Now this is just the on off model. They also have dimmer models and actually the dimmers are probably more common. But in the shop light I don't want to dim it. I just want on and off. So in the app now I have the shop light. I can turn that on and off. So now I'll get the remote set up in the Lutron app. So I'm going to choose that remote. It says press and hold down the bottom button for 10 seconds. So I'll do that. Then it's asking me what room I want to put it in. I'm going to add a room called shop. I also put this under a room called shop. I'll say it's going to control a light and it's added. So I'll say I'm done adding devices. So now in the app, I have a section called shop and I have the switch. So if I tap on that switch, I can hit edit device and then I can go to devices here and I can tell it what I want to turn on. So I have two other Lutron devices here and I could choose those but we're not controlling a Lutron device with this. We're controlling the CASA outlet. And to do that, we'll have to use Home Assistant. So let's head over to Home Assistant and get this configured. Okay, so I'm logged into Home Assistant. I'm going to go to Settings, Devices and Services. Now I want to add the outlet and the switch. So you can go to Add Integration. We can search for CASA. TP-Link will come up and that's the parent brand. It has discovered different devices. I'll click on Shop Light 1. It's asking if I want to set it up. I'll say Submit. It's asking where. I'll say Shop and I'll add it. I'll say Finish. So now if I go to Overview, my dashboard will automatically be set up and I can hit this switch and it will turn the light on and off. So let me go back down to Settings, Devices, Add Integration, Lutron, Lutron Caseta. Now this is where you set up your smart hub. So you want to enter in the IP address of your smart hub. It will have you press the button on the smart hub and then it will add it to Home Assistant. Now I've already done that. So you can see I have it here and it says it has five devices. Let's go back. Let's click the three dots here and hit reload. It says the integration was reloaded. I'll hit OK. And now you can see we have six devices. So now we have the Shop Pico. So now I have everything set up to set up an automation to program the switch to control the outlet. So I'll go into settings, I'll go to automations, I'll click create automation, I'll say new automation, I'll say trigger is device, I'll type in Pico, so I say shop Pico, trigger when on is pressed, add action, and now I'll say device, and I'll type shop, I'll say shop light, I'll say turn on shop light. So if I have multiple lights, I can add another action. I don't know that there's any limit to this, but this is a great way to have one switch control many lights. So I'll hit save. I'll name this shop lights on. I'll hit save. Now I'll go back to my automations. I'll click on the three dots next to shop lights on. I'll hit duplicate. 
and I'll change these to off. And I'll name this shop light off. Okay, let's head back over to my bench and test it out. So we have the switch, I'll press the top button, turns the light on, bottom button turns it off. Now depending on your system, there could be a delay, but you can see this is incredibly fast. I've used light bulbs that the light bulbs themselves will take longer to turn on than it takes for this to actuate and turn on. So that's how you can program a Lutron wireless control with a Casa Smart outlet. I think the techniques I used in this video could be used for other switches and other outlets, but if you have the Lutron system, these Lutron remotes look really nice, but being able to use this Casa outlet, generally they're cheaper and they're smaller, and if you don't need all the dimming controls of the Lutron outlet, I think this is a great way to go. So now I just have to unplug this, plug it into my shop light, make sure my chain is pulled on on my shop light, and then I can mount the switch up. And I haven't decided yet how I'm going to mount the switch. It does have this little plastic plate in the back that has some screw parts on there. It also has double stick tape, or as I was mentioning earlier, I can get this with a wall plate and it will just look like a wired switch. Okay, so I'm in my shop and we can see the two shop lights here and I'll turn it on and off, super fast. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.